three words, I can sum up everything I've learned about life. It goes on. These wise words came from Robert Frost, but I can't help but disagree. Sometimes, life just doesn't go on. We all took the loss hard, some more than others. When I found that torn letter, I couldn't help but wonder what it said. Could those weeping wet eyes just not bear to read it one more time? It's odd how a tragedy can just tear someone's world apart. I guess in this case, I'm left to put the pieces back together and make sense of it all. To start piecing things together, I think the best place to start is the beginning. The first link of this chain of events happened on Saturday night at the party. Ridiculous. Yeah. 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 Little riding. Yeah. 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 Okay, where's your boyfriend? He went to go have a cigarette. All right, well, I don't want to stand around, so let's go dance. Yeah. All they got to do is see you get money, Rick. All they got to do is see you get money, Rick. All they got to do is see you get money, Rick. All they got to do is see you get money, Rick. All they got to do is see you get money, Rick. All they got to do is see you get money, Rick. All they got to do is see you get money, Rick. All they got to do is see you get money, Rick. All they got to do is see you get money, Rick. All they got to do is see you get money, Rick. All they got to do is see you get money, Rick. All they got to do is see you get money, Rick. All they got to do is see you get money, Rick. All they got to do is see you get money, Rick. All they got to do is see you get money, Rick. All they got to do is see you get money, Rick. All they got to do is see you get money, Rick. All they got to do is see you get money, Rick. All they got to do is see you get money, Rick. All they got to do is see you get Hey, who the hell are you? I'm a boyfriend that's who the hell I am. Alright, let's see how it is. Hey baby, let me know when you want to be with the real man. What'd you say? I wasn't talking to you. You're talking to me now. Hey, hey guys, calm down, okay? No, no, no. He wants to talk, let's go. I'm just trying to have a good time, just like I know she is. Guys, 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 knock it off. Andy, you pissed off Carrie. Why don't you go calm her down? You're lucky, man. Yeah, whatever. Hey, let's party. Check yourself. Yeah. Carry. Do that. Remember that do ball, baby. You know, if you just move in with me, I wouldn't have to walk across town all the time. <laughs> Smart ass. You know you don't have to walk me home. I'm 20. I don't need a babysitter. I know. I like to look out for you, though. You know that. Yeah? Kind of like how you were looking out for Andy last night? I guess. You're a little different, though. Uh, but speaking of last night, have you heard from Carrie? Yep. She texted me earlier. I think we're going to go out to lunch later. Oh, nice. Where are you going? I don't know. Probably just the calf. Have you talked to Andy? No, I haven't heard from him since last night. Hopefully he didn't do anything stupid. Well, I know Carrie said that you called up with her last night, so at least you know he's alive. All right, well, thanks for rocking me home. Sure. <laughs> I'm going to go. I kind of look like crap. Mm -hmm. You know you always say that and I never believe you? <laughs> All right, so you say. But seriously, I'm cold, so I'm going to go get ready. I'll talk to you later. OK, yeah, call me then. All right. Hey. I love you. Words of Keith's death spread quickly. The hit and run, it was plastered all over the news. We were shattered. Of all of us, though, Becca had it the hardest. They had been together for four years and were basically inseparable. Or so we thought. We tried to be there for her, but she just wanted her own space. Who could blame her? She was filled with anger and sorrow. It was one thing for her to take losing her boyfriend, but to know someone who was responsible for it got away with it. 
that just made everything harder on everyone. I think she, no, I think we all needed some closure. We just wanted some justice. Time began to pass, a few days at least. We were all still struggling. Becca didn't have much motivation to even leave her room. None of us really did anything. It was hard to get back into the swing of things, just to get back on a routine. Then one afternoon when I least expected it, all the pieces began to come together. It had been a week since Keith's death. The news had calmed down, but all of a sudden, there was a new report. Breaking news in the case involving the hit and run accident which claimed the life of IUP student Keith Smith. 23 year old Derek Jones was arrested today after turning himself into Indiana police. Jones admitted that he was the driver that struck Smith last Sunday. I recognized the face immediately. As soon as they pulled up the picture of Keith's killer, the whole story came together. We need to rewind a little bit. Remember that guy from the party? Dude, dude, you gotta go. Dude, you, you gotta leave. My parents are coming up. I need to clean. All right. I'm going. Police believe that Jones was driving while still under the influence of alcohol. However, Jones is claiming that the vehicle's brakes malfunctioned. Police are investigating into the claim. Jones is now being held in Indiana County Jail and is awaiting... Keith, I don't even know what to say or, or how to say it. I guess I'll start with... I miss you, man. We all do. Becca's just so lost without you. But we're all doing our part. We're trying to take care of her, and I know that's what you would have wanted us to do. But I feel even more obligated to take care of her. Well, Keith, I, I gotta come clean about something. Since you've been gone, we, we've all just been ripped apart, knowing someone took your life, and even worse, someone ran away from it. Today, the, the driver admitted to what he did, though. I'm sure all your friends and your family are so grateful that they finally found justice for you, man. I'm sorry, I can't say the same. Keith, I don't know how to handle this, but I'm responsible for everything that happened. That night at the party, do you remember breaking up that fight with me and that kid? Well, I was just 
so pissed off and when I went outside to look for Carrie, I, I saw the kid's truck uh, cut his brakes and it was the truck that hit you, man. It's all my fault. The kid's name was Derek. He got arrested today for a crime that he committed, but only I know I was responsible for it. Nothing can make up for what I did to you. Nothing. Keith, this is... This is Becca's last letter to you. She didn't even have the heart to read the last words. I just want to find the monster who did this to you. Keith, I did this. I'm the monster. I just don't think she could handle knowing it was me.